Hi, if you use Adobe Illustrator and you've ever wondered what the blob brush is, or maybe you've never even um, known that it exists, it's a great little tool if you have a digital tablet uh, that you're using that you can draw with. And I'm showing you in this video um, how I use the blob brush to create uh, a logo or a piece of art for a logo. Uh, super useful tool, uh, kind of mysterious, not a lot of people use it, but I thought I would uh, make this video for you uh, to show you how I use the a blob brush in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, hope you enjoy this video. Hi and welcome. In this lesson we are going to uh, start doing some vector drawing of um, the first uh, version, the uh, concept uh, for this logo for um, Laughing Lamb. And so I'm, I've uh, imported our uh, rough sketch from the previous, um, from Photoshop, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, let's see, I've got a, I, okay, I've got a layer here, so I'm going to just use this layer. Um, and we'll start drawing this. I think what I'm going to do, there are a bunch of ways that I could do this, and I thought that maybe I would uh, um, just draw it with, um, I love the um, the blob brush tool. I could, you know, trace around this. I could use the pen tool, of course, as, as you've seen me do before. But I thought maybe blob tool, um, blob brush tool might work pretty well for this. And I'll show you kind of how I will approach this. So I've got it up. Let's see if the weight that I've got here is going to work for us. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, what I, So what I'm doing is notice that I am, um, I'm overlapping these areas here, um, and I'll show you why in just a few moments. This may, um, I, may I may need to adjust the, um, the size of the brush a little bit as I go along here. Um, but I'm overlapping each of these. I think this, I, as I see it now, I think this is going to work pretty well. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do here is I'm kind of editing as I go as well um, to kind of get the curves the way that I want them. And then I'll, I'll do some further editing um, as well once we get um, uh, the basic shapes done the way that I like them. Um, I'm kind of editing as I draw here into something that really is, is going to uh, be as cleaned up as I want it to be. And again, I, I will touch it up. I've got uh, the brush set so that it is um, it kind of, um, it's not set to um, follow um, my, uh, my lines uh, perfectly. Um, I've actually set it so that it follows them a little more loosely and a little more cleanly and so that it sort of cleans up the lines a little bit uh, with the blob tool. Let me show you that real quick. Let's go into the blob tool real quick. What I've set it at is that I've set the fidelity as smooth so accurate would give me a lot more points and and the lines could be moving around a little bit. Smooth um, allows allows the curves to be nice and fluid. Um, if I'm doing something a little more hand-drawn looking, I want the this fidelity turned down here into the accurate area. But if I want something smooth, I want to, or you know, and very graphic, I'm going to turn it up to the smooth area. Notice that I've set the set the size at seven. You could set it whatever you want, depending on the thickness you want. But this variation of seven points, so it'll go from zero to the seven point width, um, depending on pressure, how much pressure I put down on this. So you really need to um, practice using this brush to um, add pressure uh, and, and draw with pressure. Like if, if I start here and I'm going light and heavy or heavy and then uh, and then light with my brush stroke to get that thick and thin sort of ink brush kind of look um, and nice smooth curves. So um, practicing with this you know really helps uh, an awful lot. You really um, you normally don't hit it right off right off the bat. You need to practice with this particular blob brush tool, but I've, I, I really have uh, learned how to use it reasonably well. And uh, for this particular purpose, I think it's gonna 
just be perfect for this. Um, I, you can see that I can redraw things several times um, just until you get something that really, you know, the curve and, and whatever that you really need for your particular project. Um, one of the things that I'm doing here, um, as I mentioned earlier, is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw past. Let me just get this thing up a little bit. Let's go here, get this brush up. I want it a little thicker out here. So I'm going to go here. So you can just redraw as many times as you need to to get get what you, what you're looking for. It's going a little bit wonky there. Here we go. That's pretty good. Um, and so I'll go down here, create this piece, and uh, I've got to actually decide, you know, where where we're gonna where the thick and thin is going to stop and start, but generally we've got something here. Uh, I think I'm going to back up for just a minute because I don't like what happened here. So let me let me go back and, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take off um, just adjust some things here. Let me select this particular one and just get rid of it um, and redraw starting from there. So I think what I'm going to do is this this actually needed to go a little bit further. So we could cross over right here. There we go. That's a little better. And so I'm not really paying um, that much uh, attention to where I'm stopping these lines because I've got a technique that works pretty well um, that will allow me to come back in here. Once I get this ear done, I'll show you what you can do here to, to make this, um, it's really a slick way to make this work. Notice I'm just hitting the uh, command Z. If I don't get the stroke quite the way that I want it, I'll just redraw it. Um, let me see here, I wanna go right there, okay. And right here. We go looking pretty good I think we've got most of the big black areas I'm gonna do a little bit of detail in here I think and maybe even this thing I was thinking on the bridge of his nose doing something here and I'll maybe edit it later a little bit but let's take our brush down a little bit and get some get these this area where the eye is I don't know how much of that will keep um, and it's not really hasn't really gone to the um, where I want it to go here as far as the end of the brush. Yeah, it's a little too. You just start really light, go there, and then end really light. That's probably, I don't think I'm going to need two of these. I'll throw one in, but let's see. Let's see, that's not quite there. Yeah, might be too much detail, but for right now we can leave it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to zoom out and show you that generally, you know, we've got this this drawn in, and I've sort of overdrawn um, a couple areas. Let's get these. Let's get this done here. There's some teeth in here, and I'm going from thin to thick up the top because I want the teeth to feel like um, there is a. There we go. I want the teeth to feel like there is this. Uh, Essentially, we've got a little cast shadow from the lower lip there, and I want to retain that as much as I can. Uh, let's see if this, but it might take out. Yeah, um, so I was wrong. I want to. I do. I do want to lose that uh, piece there, and I think I'm just going to go back and just keep it pretty straight. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to the paintbrush tool here, and whoops and draw this in um, uh, okay we've got some goofy just a basic stroke is all we need here guys there we go basic stroke okay so now I'm gonna go back to the uh, paintbrush tool and 
it's too large. Let's go here and just draw this just like that and get our lines there. Okay. So, and we'll be able to uh, expand those later. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand those right now because I know they're going to stay. So I will just go to expand appearance and uh, leave them like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, select all, and I'm going to use the, um, zoom out just a bit, and I'm going to use the uh, shape builder tool here, and I'm going to take away some pieces that we don't need. Um, so let's see. I'm going to hold down the option key and we're going to take away some of these parts that we don't need and we don't want. Okay, take that away. Take that away. That little piece. Let's see. I might have to zoom in here in just a minute, but uh, let's see. I think we've. What are we going to do here? I think we will, where do we want this, you know, this curve to happen? Let's see, I might just go take both of those pieces off and as well as right here and probably even there, we don't need all that detail there. Take that off. Okay, let's see what it looks like now that I've done some edits there. I think I've got it pretty much where I want it. Uh, let me zoom in just a bit be a little piece up here. Yeah, we need to get rid of that little tiny piece. So I will grab the Shape Builder tool, hold down the Option key, and just collect that little piece right there. Uh, take that one out as well. Make sure we don't have any other stray pieces that we need to take that little chunk off there. And this one too, and that one too. And now we can finish up the face here. There we go. Looking pretty good. Um, I think we had it. Yeah, we had that overlap there. Let me just slide over here and see if there's any. Yeah, some little other pieces here that we just need to get rid of. I just zoom in and you know, kind of find my little spots that I want to delete some stuff here. And I think once I get this done, it'll look like a, a nicely drawn, almost like pen and ink brush kind of very graphic line thing. Take that one out and take that one out. And this one out. So I'm taking out all those overlaps. So I drew past them. Because when I do that, um, you don't have to figure out where to butt the, you know, because sometimes you have this round curve at the end of a brush stroke. And if I want a nice edge like this, it's better to draw past it and then just um, um, sort of cut, you, cut it off and delete it. And it'll give you a nice crisp edge which is what exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to essentially just um, I'm going to go in and we're going to create some of these fill colors, fill color areas. Um, and I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and just select here and here and here and let me zoom out. So now I've got the interior fill colors and if I really want to, I can uh, just grab the, uh, keep the, the uh, shape builder tool and just drag it into all these areas. Basically drag it over the whole drawing and unite all of this stuff. I could probably use the uh, the um, Pathfinder tool, tool as well. Um, as a matter of fact, let's see what happens when we do that. Sometimes it gives you a little strange, it'll do some strange things. Let's see if we if we uh, unify it all, if it, if it works. No, I guess it did. It's got a few extra points here that I can go back and clean up. I won't take the time to do that right now. I'll do that later. Um, so that gave it to us, and we've got the fill colors. Uh, I need these as well. So let's get the fill color there. Uh, fill color. Uh, i got to grab the tool there. There, there. And there, and we'll make those colors to be white for right now. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got everything we need. Um, we've got all of our pieces. It's a nice, clean drawing. I'm going to go in here, and I think I'm going to use the eraser tool. And um, 
sort of clean up the edges where I want to have a hard edge kind of thing going on. I'm just going to do this and uh, play with these and, and also where I might want to feather out some of these to go to more of a point I can use that eraser tool which is pretty great for this. Um, let me see what size we want it. Uh, double click on it and we've got a two point let's go to maybe five or let's make it four. Okay, say okay. So now I got a good good uh, tool here, and might want to go a little bit larger now. Um, just to get this a nice smooth curve here. That was a little too thick before this. Uh, take off some of this. We're just doing some editing in our drawing. Yeah, I don't want too much black there going on. Cut this off too a little bit. Just the edge of that nose looks pretty good. Um, I like a lot of the, the things that are going on here so far. Clean up that edge, clean up some of these thick to thin kinds of things. The brush strokes, so they really taper out into just a point. Essentially just, just going out here to to nothing. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here on this, whether we want to have the um, eyebrow area do. Let's see what we're going to do with these curves here. Yeah, it's not quite there. Maybe a little. There we go. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Just clean this up just a bit. There. Okay. Um, now the only thing I, I want to see is how far back I want to come with this. I think it's better to be about right there. Looking pretty good. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay. Um, I think we've got essentially um, the uh, the outline for this uh, pretty good, and we'll decide you know thicknesses later. But for right now, uh, let's see. We've got all that chosen. Are selected and it's all uh, one unit so that's great um, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come in here and start dealing with uh, this stuff which I'm kind of seeing as shadow area um, so there are a couple different ways we can do that I can select these um, chunks in here uh, let me see I can select these chunks and I can essentially draw inside that might might not work um, the way that that I wanted to so we'll just give it a shot here and I'm gonna Basically, I'm going to grab a, um, a gray color, and we'll see what happens when we draw inside here. Let me just see what happens. Yeah, it's drawing inside the black area. So what I need is, um, actually what I think I'll do is, I'm going to basically create another layer. I'm going to lock this one below, um, this piece below, and we'll just draw on the top, and we're going to do essentially what we did before with the blob brush, and we're going to create all of our lines. Oops, I'm going to get out of that mode. So we're just going back to the normal drawing mode. And then I'm going to draw essentially what we did before with the other one. And we're going to just kind of create this with the blob brush. Let me zoom in just a bit. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go past here just like we did before. fill in this stuff here. I don't have to, I'll, I'll get my outlines first and then we'll come back and fill that in. further. There we go, and something right here. And we're 
just essentially just filling this in. Um, there are, like I said, there are a bunch of different ways that we could do this. Um, I could, you know, just use the pen tool and, and you know, um, do all the work following my rough sketch lines. But I'm just feeling like, you know, the drawing with the, the brush is also very comfortable for me to do. Just kind of depends on, you know, which, which tools, you know, you, you're best with. Um, the, um, also when I start drawing with the, with the pen tool, um, I tend to get really um, particular and accurate to a rough sketch and I really like to, in this stage that I'm in right now, I like to be able to make some edits because I don't necessarily, um, you know, have this thing 100% worked out. So I'm kind of still making some edits as I draw. Um, so that's why the brush tool makes me more, I'm, I'm really drawing um, as much as I am, um, you know, just following that outline because I'm, I'm still making some decisions. So uh, let's do some of this stuff in here. Let's see, I guess, oh, yeah, the shadow will follow this. So this area will be shadowed and then this is probably going to be the light area. So let's see here. And I may edit the number of these spiked areas here. And so as I'm drawing, I'm doing that thick, thick to thin. Oops. I'm gonna take this. I'm doing the thick to thin thing to try and get as much of a point, but I'm not. I don't really have to worry about it. You know, 100% because I can get it by. Um, crossing over the top and then I'll delete these points and we'll have a nice razor sharp edge there. I'm going to turn my drawing tablet bit. Let's see, Let's see what we can do here. Let me see, maybe I'm going to edit this here. Go right there. Looks like a jumbled mess, but actually, since I've gone over the top and, and gone past all of those points, I can come back and clip them all out and then just fill it in. It'll look razor sharp. So I'm going to do that same thing here, and I'm just going to draw past each time, past the point to where they intersect. There we go. And then we'll do this final little area here. here this drop kind of a drop shadow there so let's see so this will be part of, of this thing here um, so I've got to kind of just think for a moment here how I want to tie all this together um, so this is going to be one piece we will let me create the lines for these for this piece this little shadow below the ear I'll just go ahead. It's probably safer to just to go ahead and draw these in and connect them since I'm going to need to do that anyway. And we'll go here and then I'll just connect these outside here. So we've got them and leave myself something so I got this little chunk here. Okay, so I've got that chunk. Uh, got this chunk, let me just zoom in here. So I'm white lighter uh, shadow let's see yeah okay looking pretty good so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab these and start deleting some of these points now I think I have it do I have it all drawn I think I do I think so okay so let's take uh, select all and just hide that so they're all it's uh, I can't hide it because I need to I need to see it better so we're gonna zoom in here and just start going around this edge 
and uh, pulling all these pieces together. So I think just to keep it organized here, we will take this tool and we will hold the Option key and take away what we don't need. And take away what we don't need here. Let's see. that one. We'll take that out. We'll take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that looks pretty good enough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unify all of this stuff here. back in and, and adding the pieces that I missed. I could also use the um, Pathfinder tool, but since I'm here, I'm just pulling them all together. Because I can see them clearly, sometimes you can't see them well enough, and you know, it's, it's harder to do this, but I can see them pretty clearly, so I'm just feeling pretty confident that I can just go ahead and do it. You can see it because uh, you notice what I'm doing is I'm hitting all these points that I see out here. These are paths, vector paths that have um, you know a fill, or um, they're actually separate little drawing parts. So pretty easy to see, you know. And then you can see how much you eliminate each time you do it, and you can just uh, start tying them together. reason I'm not unifying them all using the Pathfinder tool is because I need separate chunks that aren't connected to each other because um, I well at least for now I might have this a light a darker shade of gray this a lighter if it were all going to be the same color then I could just unify the whole thing um, and you know it might end up being that, that that's what I end up doing but I haven't made that decision yet and I don't want to lock myself in so uh, I'm going to stay right where we are here some of this stuff in here. So now I can basically click away from this one, and since I know these pieces are going to um, work, I can go here and I can, uh, let's see if I need to do any further, yeah, they're already pretty much unified, uh, looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these two pieces that I know I like, and uh, cut them, and it uh, looks like I've got a couple little extra chunks here. Uh, Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we've got them all in one piece. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna cut them now, and I will um, go ahead and delete some of these extra pieces as well. We don't really need them. So now on my on my line here, I'm going to create another layer, and underneath it, I'm going to target a layer, and I'm just going to paste that stuff back in place where I had it. And now I can sort of lock that in. And where I've got little weird things that uh, that I maybe don't don't want, um, I can go back in and just uh, draw over the top of that with my tool, and 
to fill them in. There we go. And I think I'm going to... I was thinking to have a little more detail like this, but I, I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to just clean it up here and just do it like this. looking pretty good. I may want to, I think I'm going to just erase a little bit of this here. I got a little bit too much here. And it took a little too much. Let's see. So it's almost like, you know, the, as I mentioned before, drawing skills, um, you know, drawing, um, even if it's what I consider to be design drawing, which this is kind of design drawing, but I'm also, you know, illustrating as well, so it's kind of a combination, but um, overall, just, you know, getting some, whoops, I'm with the, uh, gotta pay attention here, um, gotta get the brush back here and use this. Um, you, learning to draw is, uh, I think it's, it's an important, it's a great skill to have, and uh, I think it's, you know, worthwhile as a designer, even if you're not going to, like I've said before, even if you're not going to illustrate your own pieces and what have you, it's a great um, skill to have to be able to, uh, to draw uh, the pieces that you need um, for even to show an, an illustrator, you know, what you need from them if you're the uh, art director, you know. So uh, what I think I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces as well and just send them to the back. So now they're behind here. So now I can just start filling in with my blob brush and just very quickly coloring this in. And then I'll have all the shadows areas that I need. And we'll be able to eliminate some of those places where they're overlapping. The reason I'm not just filling this um, is because I'm going to make some edits here. Otherwise, I would just fill it. But uh, I'm still kind of drawing and just probably playing with these curves a little bit. So uh, I'm uh, I'm not filling it in 100%. You know, with a with sort of the paint bucket or the live paint tool, which you know works pretty well. It's a quick way to just drop color in. I'm not ready to do that yet. Because I may want to clean up, like I say, some of these edges. Um, and I don't mind, I can do this pretty quickly as well, um, just brushing it in. Um, the um, drawing, you know, practicing drawing curves, whether you're, uh, whether you're doing it with, uh, you know, just a pencil and, and paper or with, um, you know, br the brush tools in Illustrator, um, they come in really handy if you have to do uh, any kind of um, logos that are more um, illustrated, um, you know, sort of um, an illustration type piece of art like, like this is, uh, it can really come in handy to uh, be good with uh, the, the paintbrush and uh, the hand skills. This, uh, I happen to be using a, uh, a tablet, uh, a, a digital tablet um, here, actually a digital monitor, excuse me. Um, that I'm drawing on. I've used the Wacom tablet and uh, this one is is a Chinese knockoff uh, tablet that I'm using right here and works works pretty well. Um, I actually kind of like certain aspects of it better than the Wacom um, because the Wacom to me um, is um, it, it was getting too, it might, if I draw on this for you know as long as, long as I draw per day um, it, my hand would get those darn the darn Wacom would just get heated up. So um, I've owned I think uh, I don't know, three or four Wacom's, and they are they certainly are nice. It's nice equipment, but um, I found that I can I like some of these just as well. So um, so what I think I'm going to do just to save some time here is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll come back to this and, and show you the finished one here, and uh, just so that we're we can speed this up a little bit. And uh, I'll show you my edits to it, and I'll give you the, show you the, uh, the cleaned up version, and then we'll uh, add all the colors and 
you sort of finalize it and get it all cleaned up ready to go. Um, so I'll be back to show you um, sort of the finalized cleaned up version in uh, just a moment. Okay, so I am back with the uh, cleaned up version here, and I think we're just going to make some a uh, few little edits here um, and uh, change, soften it up a little bit. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, everything on. Uh, let's see, I'll lock off these layers, and there we go. That's that layer. So I'm going to target this layer, and I'm going to just uh, change the color of this. I think to um, something that's. Uh, dark but not black I think um, I think it's gonna be better to to uh, to be a dark gray a little softer yeah uh, let's see oops I selected everything here and I'll see I could go ahead and just do that anyway teeth just to keep it uh, separate um, so I think uh, this might be just a little bit too dark still let's 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 go in here maybe about right there and that means we're gonna need to to adjust so let's fix our the little mouth thing here again probably should have knocked that out of out of the background or out of, the, out of the outline. There we go. Okay, so I think we got that. Now I just want to change this color here. Um, we'll target this and make this a little bit lighter as well. Maybe up into here. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. Nice and soft. Um, maybe right here I'm, I might want to uh, let's see. Let's see if I want to go ahead and make this little minor detail the same color as uh, as the lighter uh, gray Let's see if that works a little better yeah it does um, okay so I think we've got it we can turn off our original sketch and there we go so I've got um, I've got the vector here for uh, version number one of this logo. I think it looks it's definitely a, it's definitely a possible option. Not sure that they will choose this one or whether it's the it's going to be the winner. But um, I think we've got something here that works. Uh, one last little thing is I think we'll go ahead and change this. This is more of a shadow area. This is more of a, a shadow area in the fur, and I want to have this heavier so it pops out a little bit more. Right, the eyes and the shadow underneath the eye. Um, these are more like the underside, and they're not. We don't want them to be so heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and just take that to the light gray as well. Yeah, softens it up a little bit. So I think we've got what we need here, and uh, we will go ahead and uh, save this version and uh, play with uh, some some type with it in just a moment. But I think what what we'll do uh, now is go in and do um, the next lesson um, of uh, executing the other version, other possible version, the more simplified version of the logo um, for this and uh, see which one uh, the client likes. So thank you for watching this lesson and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.